Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Inner Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is June 1st, 2015. Let's take a look at these charts here. What you're going to see here is that we are looking at the S&P 500 trading higher by $4.75. Now, the futures were higher. You can see they have just pulled back here, so we'll see where they go. But again, the market was hit on Friday. Got a good little sell-off. Right now, we are rebounding up a little bit, but um, well off the highs of the morning session. So traders should take note of that. We could be in for some more volatility, at least throughout the uh, first few days of this month. Um, we'll see how this plays out today. But all in all, it's uh, a rocky, rocky May, and uh, we'll see what the market brings in June. All right, there are some stocks that we want to talk about in the news today. First off the bat, we have the big ASCO conference going on. That's the oncology uh, cancer conference that's taking place. And you get a lot of stocks that are going to be moving around. A couple on the radar today are going to be, first one is going to be Immunogen, IMGN, this stock right now. You can see is trading sharply higher this morning. So stock is uh, flying uh, from where it closed. It closed at $8.98 on Friday. Right now trading at eleven twenty. So a good little pop there. How high can this go? That's the big question that everybody's asking. Um, I worked at a few little levels here just before the um, I did this broadcast. And um, this $11 area is pretty good resistance. After this, though, it's really all the way up to $12.80 um, that the next major resistance level comes into. So, uh, again, a good pop for Immunogen. But um, there is pretty good resistance around this $11 level. So we'll see what it does once the opening bell rings. But this will be in play all day today. Another stock that caught a bid today I noticed was um, VBLT. I personally have never traded this name. But it just did catch my eye. Closed at 8.05, went all the way above $10, now pulling back to around $9. So this is another one that had a big move. A big resistance level I'm seeing here today, and again, you never know how these things are going to react with these conferences, would be right around the um, $10 and then, then $11 level. So keep that on the radar today. Um, CLVS is another mover. Uh, this thing is moving to the downside, though. Closed at $92.44. Now trading at around $85. I did work out a little calculation here with this one around $79.25. If it got down there, there could be a bounce play at that level. So Clovis Oncology um, getting hit a little bit today. I think Puma is also in the news. Ticker symbol is PBYI. This is another one. Right now, this is trading right around uh, $195.44. So you can see it had a pretty good little sell-off. Um, and still is trading right around that level. So we'll see how this one uh, plays out today when it opens up. But there's another one. And also then you have the usual suspects. Stocks like Celgene, <clears throat> they could always be big movers. This is trading at 115.75 today. You also have Amgen, AMGN. This is trading at um, 157. Not really a big mover there. But And then you have Johnson & Johnson, I believe. They also have some drugs in the pipelines as well. So, again, um, all of these cancer drugs will be on on display, and um, we'll see what their results are as they present their data. And, again, uh, everything in that space, that biotech space that is cancer-related can be a mover today. So you want to be aware of that. Just keep that on the radar. All right, some other stocks in the news. Altera is getting bought out by Intel. It looks like that deal is going down for $54 a share. We'll see how this one plays out. Again, if you own Altera, Either sell the stock, take your money off the table, or you trail your stop loss. The only real two ways of playing it. Another takeover today is OMG, I believe, is being bought out today for $34 a share. I think it's a private equity firm. Um, so, again, you don't want to do anything with this. It's just up here at this level, and it probably will just go sideways the remainder of the trading day. It looks like um, Harley-Davidson's in the news. Uh, right now, it looks like the stock is trading at around... 5350 again i don't really see strength in the stock they're delaying um i believe a battery operated motorcycle so again it's gonna be delayed by about two to three years so way off the base i don't see that happening anytime soon stock's been under pressure it's in a downtrend um a level i do like for holly davidson today would be 4850 if it gets there i do think that's a, a buy level for the stock um, at least a scalp traded around that area. So let's take a look at Citigroup. I believe they were upgraded by Goldman Sachs. They're doing really 
Uh, not all that much, but it did trade close out of 54.08, trading now at 54.70. All right, I think I got through all the stocks um, that I wanted to cover today that I highlighted. Again, um, come on over to the intraday stock chat room. Take a seven-day free trial. You'll trade all these names with us. Uh, everything that I mentioned today will be in play today. All right, let's go over to the gold market. Gold is trading down about 60 cents to $1,189.20 an ounce. Crude oil is trading down around 31 cents. Just underneath the $60 level, $59.98 at the moment. So, again, gold and oil are not doing all that much this morning. Keep an eye on the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar is upticking a little bit. When that upticks, generally, um, gold and oil will pull back. But, again, the dollar is just up about $0.21 cents today. So, um, But it is still one of the most important currencies that you could follow. U.S. dollar index is the dollar versus a basket of six important currencies, including the euro British pound and the Japanese yen. All right, with that being said, everybody, come on over, take a seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat. You'll see everything that we're doing right now. The futures are up about five points. Uh, we're going to leave it there. We're going to see how it goes. And again, it should be a pretty interesting Monday morning, first day of June. Uh, we'll see how money gets put to work here. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.